art studio, and we do a lot of interactive art making workshops in the community. People will see a bright, beautiful van that kind of pulls up, the back opens, and it turns into a fully mobile art studio where they set up tables, a tent, paint, play, and they'll just put it out on the block or in the park, and you'll see a lot of people making art. We've been to block parties, community festivals, schools. We also do pop-up art making workshops in local parks. You know, kids are, they're all so different. Some of them are very shy. They, well, they come from so many different places, so many different schools, so many different areas here in Philadelphia. Fleischer believes that everyone should have access to the art, that we are all better as individuals and as community uh, when we have art making in our lives. And so if you don't have the opportunity to easily get to an art studio or an art school or a space, then Color Wheels will bring that to you. And you know, it's difficult, like a lot of eight-year-olds can't just go on their own on a bus and go to a community art center. So Color Wheels will make sure that wherever they are in playgrounds and parks, that there's a place to make art. You know, a lot of schools don't have art programs anymore. And this way they really get to experience what is it to make art. I think it's great for kids to really do something different from their usual curriculum. I think it's really nice to be creative as well. It's an interactive way to bring communities together, to have that quality family time. You're able to engage people if they're not able to physically come to place your art memorial. So in this way we're bringing art making out into the world and making it accessible to communities that normally wouldn't have to be able to participate in something like this. It's an exciting opportunity to, if you're working on city planning, if you're having a block party, whatever you're doing, that this is a way to make sure that art is part of it.